New at 5, it was a sailing ship that for a time called St. Petersburg its home. You may recall the HMS Bounty met its tragic end during Superstorm Sandy, costing two lives. But as our Taylor Vincent reports tonight, a former first mate made an incredible discovery at sea recently, a find he was eager to share with the Bounty's surviving crew. Anytime there's a ship at sea, in a storm like that is uh, it's always a dangerous situation. Captain Andrew Jagger waited anxiously for news of who survived after learning the sailing vessel he was first mate on for two years. The HMS Bounty was overcome by Superstorm Sandy last October, 90 miles off of Cape Hatteras. 14 were rescued. Two of the crew, including Jagger's good friend Captain Robin Walbridge, didn't make it. But this was like, uh, you know, losing a father or a brother. Jagger says the past crews of the ship remain close, which is why at first he wanted to keep his recent incredible discovery within the Bounty family. It was disbelief, it was shock. On September 7th, Jagger was headed back to the States from France on a catamaran 100 miles out from Bermuda when his crew spotted something in the distance. Through binoculars, Jagger saw life jackets. Pulled him out of the water, said, oh, Cap, look at this. Look at the name, and uh, that's when we realized just how important to find it was. Five life jackets strung together to make a clear rescue target, a faded name bringing back vivid memories. Jagger says the crew he's talked to think it's fitting a member of the Bounty family made the discovery. He hopes the jackets end up in a museum, paying tribute to a special ship that's touched so many people. And I think that she's still doing that. In St. Petersburg, Taylor Vinson, ABC Action News.